God is not the That's it. God, this would be brother. Getting this on film. Can I give him my bag while he stuffs him? Yo, I'm gonna need you to go to 128 North. And they're clapping. Brothers, man. I cannot God believe I'm watching this. Author. This man was arrested for attempting to quote scripture at a pride event. Are we living in America or is this a third world country? Now I say that because in other countries, if you, for example, uh, my wife is Pakistani. So if you go to Pakistan and you are a Christian and you do this, you will be arrested and sometimes you'll be facing punishment even harsher than that. This man is in the United States of America. We have a First Amendment right of free speech, but his right was violated. This man's right was violated because he dared to quote scripture that people across the street consider hate when he was giving them truth. Just watch this and see what happened to this man. Oh, and we passed this. Met some faithful brothers over here that are standing. I came out and got to preach for about 12 minutes before a cop got in my face, laid hands on me, and threatened to arrest me if I didn't stop. Bear in mind, this is another minister who was there before who was recording the quote unquote pride flag raising across the street. Of course, I don't have my GoPro camera with me because I wasn't coming out, had no idea this was happening. I just happened to drive by it. But the gospel went out. They got drag queens. They got children here. They're about to do a flag raising ceremony in the Satan cesspit. Our own mayor and uh, moron is out here. And yeah, no, this is the type of insanity. Now what's amazing about Redding is it is largely a Hispanic population. But if you I don't know how well you can see, there's not a lot of Hispanics out today. It's a bunch of white people. I'm sure they drove over from West Redding or from out of town because the Hispanic community largely would shun this. But yeah, that's what we got. This is what they're doing in Reading City. Tyrant cops threatening older men and myself for standing out here. We got, oh, just everything you can imagine. So this is quite crazy, but a wonderful providence of God that I could walk out here. And these cops over here, these guys are tyrants. That man threatened me, laid hands on me. But by the grace of God, I could preach for about 10 minutes or so, like I said, before he did that. So the gospel went out. Now watch that guy. That guy right there, you can tell that he is taking his badge a little bit too seriously. Watch his reaction. That's the guy you need to watch for. The law went out, the gospel went out. God's gonna do work with it. He's apparently a professing Christian too. That's the horrible thing about this. And see, that's a sad thing about it. Too many Christians claim to be Christians you see, in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses, I start at verse 4. Traitors, headstrong, haughty, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. And verse 5 is a key one. Having a form of godliness, but denying its power, and from such people turn away. This dude claims to be a professing Christian, right? But I bet you he does not adhere to the word of God. Because if he adhered to the word of God and to our constitutional rights, he would not do what you're about to see coming up. Looks like some more men just showed up to support us. This cop's gonna give him a hard time. Exactly, it's public property. Unless there is some kind of warrant or some kind of disturbing the peace kind of notice out for him, he has no, there's no way this police officer should be accosting this man and preventing him from expressing his First Amendment rights. Oh, I'm respecting that. that that's right there, that you know who's cheering for us? The people that are in hell. So you do you and I'm gonna do me. This is public property. This is when you can see that spirit getting agitated. You have to understand spiritual warfare. Across, what you don't see in the spirit, there's a number of demonic forces across that street. And so when that man comes proclaiming the gospel, the demons get agitated. And watch the demon get agitated in this police officer. 
you. God is not. That's all. See, as soon as he said God is not, what he was attempting to do is say God is not the author of confusion, but of peace in all the churches of the saints. He couldn't even get that out before this dude jumped over there and arrested him. Getting this on film. Can I give him my bag while he stops him? And listen to that. The crowd across the street are cheering. How sick is that? Woe to them that call evil good and good evil. I need you to go to 128 North. And they're clapping. Brothers, man. These people are clapping. Now, if it was a black man, I hate to use that, I hate to use race, but if it was a black man being arrested for doing this exact same thing, would that crowd still be clapping? And if so, would you have protests? Would you have people protesting that his First Amendment rights were violated? I cannot God believe I'm watching this. Of All this man was doing was trying to preach. He wasn't espousing hate. He didn't call them any kind of name. He was just quoting scripture. And he gets arrested like this. You got it? Yep. Yeah, they're threatening us earlier. I can't believe this is in Reading. I can't believe this is in Reading. I can't believe this is happening in the United States of America. I really can't. First group, six First Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to get started. My name is Enrique Castro. I'm the executive director of Grand Pride Celebration. And it is my God bless you, brother. I wish you all a happy Please Pride on. Month. Sure, they're cheerleading for Happy Pride Month. And a man who just had his First Amendment rights violated because he dared to quote scripture is arrested. So let that sink in for a second. In the United States of America, a country that was founded on biblical principles, you can now get arrested for quoting scripture because it's considered hate speech. I'm telling you that day is coming when if you quote scripture in relation to sin, in particular to this LGB movement, they're going to attempt to arrest you. They're going to attempt to make it a law that that is considered hate speech and it's punishable by jail time or worse. That day is coming. Mark my words. And also my honor to thank you for making history with us today as we celebrate the first. This is an unjust arrest. We have it on film. Not only the city of Reading, but Bruce County. If you go between here and our surrounding rides, there's a march in Philly, a march in Pittsburgh, and a couple of others. We brought one to Bruce County. Thank you all for supporting that. When they get themselves in trouble, this man was unjustly arrested. You hear that? The speaker said, when they get themselves in trouble with the police, we will clap. Now, if it was the reverse, if it was a bunch of Christians there to celebrate the raising of the Christian flag, and there were LGBT members across the street protesting, would they arrest those members? This is sheer tyranny. And the wicked across the street are saying they're celebrating love. This is incredible. What an incredible providence that the Lord's allowing me to film. I how that police officer threw that man's bag. You say he threw that bag down? That is a man that is being utilized by the enemy. He has been utilized by the enemy. Demons were agitated and he was upset and he was aggravated. He had no reason to get upset with that man. That man didn't do anything to him, but yet you see how aggravated and upset that man was. I had no idea. Meanwhile, in Reading City. Where are all the people that claim police brutality? 
when it's legitimate and it happens to people. Where are these people talking about police brutality? That was unlawful. This is unjust. This is uncalled for. Where is the outrage? God have mercy. Can you hear this? Do you hear what that guy's saying on the mic? And meanwhile, we got the demon lady over here. You can't make this up. You cannot make this up. See that? Yet, when a Christian has been arrested, you got a woman marching up the street looking like a demon. Up is down, down is up. Left is right, right is left. 